Hello Masters Club class, good to see you guys. We're going to have some fun today. We'll start with a little practice of just dexterity. Flip the cane, pick a hand. We will switch in a minute. You probably picked your good hand. Okay, and try to focus on just watching the stick go into your hand, especially if this is hard for you. You want to make sure you get that coordination. If it's easy for you, look away from the stick. Use your peripheral vision to practice that. If it's uh, you're doing good with that, close your eyes, right? Use your sense of touch, and you have to coordinate that hand to catch, okay? So there's three levels. Now switch hands, start with the eyes open, look at the cane, okay? Next is your peripheral practice, and you can look around the room, you can even move around, right? And try to just look at different areas of the room. And then the third one, close your eyes. This is my right hand, hopefully I can do it. Get in there. Feels a little harder. No peeking, everybody. Cover those eyes. All right? All right, you gotta time it and have a sense of focus. Now, the next level is alternating hands. Yeah. Okay, now use your peripheral, right? Look around the room. Find something else to, you can move your eyes to. That makes it more of a challenge. But that's good for your body, right? It teaches your your brain to process a couple things at a time, right? And now, let's see if I can do it. Try to flip the hand right over the other hand. So you flip it just like you normally would, right? I'd cover my eyes, but that would be hard. I don't have a free hand. Okay, so there you go. There's a good little warm up and fun. Then you can also uh, try two sticks. Okay, I only have two at the moment, but you're welcome to try that as well, the same exercise. <clears throat> and of course, you could double that up, right? You could double flip and do the whole same practice. So I won't demonstrate every one of those, but I'm sure you could have some fun with that at home, right? So now that we've uh, practiced dropping that stick a little bit, let's focus on some striking skills. So you're going to be right-handed, and I'll mirror it for you. I'll be left-handed uh, so you can practice. And we'll just do our basic 12 strikes. And I know many of you should know this, but let's confirm. So step in and strike to the head. One, two, three, four, one more, five. Okay, now if that's new for you, the footwork is probably, excuse me, uh, probably a little more of a challenge. So you wanna step with your right foot and strike. If this is something that you've done a lot, focus on your grip, okay? When I'm swinging, my palm is kind of open, but my thumb, and first finger are doing most of the holding. And then as I strike, I'm whipping with the pinky side of my hand. You can kind of just practice that in place, right? And you get a little more of a powerful strike, uh, but you want to build that into your practice. So you don't want to just swing uh, the arm. You want to use the whole body as, a, as a, a, a tool to deliver the powerful strike. So your shoulder starts, then the elbow, the wrist, and then the hand, right? And you get that hold, then you obviously you step you get a better strike. So those of you that are more advanced, focus on that too as you're doing it. And of course, on this side, I want my palm up. On the opposite side, I want my palm down, but I'm still doing the same thing, right? The shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hand. So ready, number one, and two. Then that would be your uh, left foot forward. Now three, right foot forward. That's going to the ribs. Four, five, when you're poking, you wanna relax your grip until the impact of the poke. Six, around, seven, eight, low, nine, low, 10, 11, circle, 12. Okay, <clears throat> let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, circle, 12. So six and seven are pokes to the chest, then 10, 11 are pokes to the eye and face. Okay, now switch hands. So you'll be left-handed, I'll be right-handed. Ready, one. And we'll use that grip. Two, three, four. Try to have a good stop. Five, six, chest level. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and overhead 12. Okay, so practice both sides, get good at that. 
And the next thing I want to focus on is uh, a little bit of switching hands. So uh, one easy way you can do that is one, two, three, four, five, and then you change hands and go right into the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Change hands and just keep switching, right? And you can go all up to 12 if you want. This is just a good number to focus on. Another way to change hands is go behind your back and just practice a little more coordination, right? If you can't see it like we did earlier, peripheral practice. I have to go around and feel and put it right to my hand, right into a useful grip. Four, five, and one. If I want to, I can just switch one and just work on my ones. One, one, one around the back if you want. One around the back. One around the back. Through the leg. Uh oh. <laughs> okay? So there's lots of creative ways you can have fun with those. So just be creative, have some fun with it, and enjoy the training. I'll see you soon, guys. Class dismissed.